I am not an expert, nor am I claiming that anything discussed is intentionally fake. Science is difficult, and it's possible that misunderstandings abound got us where we are. So anyhow, this all started on July 22nd. Two papers were uploaded to a prepent server, and the internet went wild. I normally ignore this kind of story because it's sensationalized and difficult to find truth, but this caught my attention, and not really for a good reason. To me, this video is showing diamagnetism, not superconductivity. That said, I've learned more about this over the past week, and it's not as clear or easy to see from video as I originally thought it was. One of the first things I saw poking holes in these papers was how weird it is to generate a graph for the same data twice. While this doesn't indicate anything bad on its own, such details have helped people find fake data in papers before this. This and other details have been used to explain how the authors may have been mistaken due to this being their first foray into superconductivity research. Though I do find it funny that in pointing out this inconsistency, they miss the fact that the graphs have different units and are actually at the same scale. Hacker News had a very lively discussion on this topic, and I learned much from there. This and all my other resources that I used will be in the description, including things that didn't make it into this video. The first replication found diamagnetic properties, but exhibited no Meissner effect, and there's an extreme difficulty in getting high purity with LK99. It is possible that the accidental inclusion of oxygen is important, but due to other results I have seen, I don't believe this to be the case. This video is a bit longer and I couldn't really cut it up well, but they have a box and a video microscope. They have a small segment of it on the display and they're taking magnets and running them under there to see how it reacts to them. I believe this was made without oxygen being included, but I'm not sure. Maybe this was created after the mistake was published. Maybe it wasn't. I'm honestly not sure. Again, it comes down to purity, and this replication did not show superconductivity. Turns out it's really hard to make LK99, and if it is superconductive, the reason for its superconductivity is probably part of why it's so difficult to make. Internal stresses seem to be important for superconductivity, and that makes things more difficult to manufacture. The third replication encountered very high resistance in LK99, and they aren't the only ones. It's also been pointed out that only tiny currents have been able to be passed through the material. While this may be solved through better manufacture, it also might not be solved, or we may not be able to manufacture it usefully. This video was really hard to make. I mean, it looks simple, but I worked a lot on this and cut out a lot because I realized if I don't hurry up and do something, I'm just never going to actually publish it. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Don't forget to unsubscribe on your way out.